Simon, welcome back to the Vic Open. A very exciting week for you being our defending champion on the men's side. Yeah, it is. I actually haven't been back on site since that day. And um, yeah, it's, it's bringing back a lot of really good memories. Talk to us about those memories. It was obviously a lot of passion out there on the 18th in the celebration. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's, it seems to be one of those things that's sort of burned into my memory. So I do like I didn't remember a lot of shots I hit in that last day, but that last part definitely is, is one I can pretty rec recall quite vividly. You said uh, that you had played a practice round yesterday. How's the course looking? The course is looking fantastic. You know, I so said we, you know, Victoria's had a lot of really hot weather and you know a lot of high winds, and the course is still playing. It looks pretty green, and the greens are looking really nice. So the ground staff done a wonderful um, job presenting the course for the week. Coming back here, are you feeling any different this week? Is there any extra pressure or nerves or any sort of butterflies flying around? I, not really. As I said, it's just, it's just another good opportunity to play a really good quality golf tournament. You know, the only thing I see is I'm the only guy in the field who can go back to back really this week. Um, I have really just no expectations and I'd like to play all four rounds, but um, yeah, I'll just try and, you know, I'm a bit of a different golfer than I was 12 months ago. I've been, you know, I struggled with a little bit of some injuries in the last six months, so it's kind of good to actually just feel healthy and be able to, you know, play golf pain free for a bit. Talk to us about those injuries, what was going on there? Uh, so in September I did a facet joint in my, my back which um, probably never quite healed properly over the summer. Unfortunately uh, we don't have any sick leave on the PGA Tour so if you're not playing unfortunately you don't um, have any chance to make any money so I kind of had to play through some of those injuries and it was kind of good to actually have the Christmas break to kind of sit down on the couch and just you know not swing a golf club and just let those heal and no I'm actually fighting fit now and you know fitness is nearly back to 100% so it's just good just to be playing golf pain free at the moment. Uh, and just something to add a little bit of extra specialness to your week this week, you've got your parents coming up from Tasmania and I believe that this is the first time they'll see you playing in a professional tournament. Yeah, I, th I think uh, the last time they would have seen me play was probably when I was a 16 year old junior, you know, they used to kind of take me to all, all the junior tournaments, things like that, like a lot of parents around Australia do, you know, to help their kids, you know, develop their golf games and everything like that, so it's, it's kind of really nice for them to come and see sort of the, the, fruit, the fruits of their work really, you know, the, all the sacrifices they made, you know, when I was growing up and it's kind of good to, to show them, you know, it's, it's all kind of paid off. Speaking of paying off, obviously your win last year at the Vic Open really launched your season and you went on to have a, a great year on the PGA Tour of Australasia. Can you talk to us about what the Vic Open win meant for you and the opportunities it opened up? It's it just allow it just gives you sort of the confidence and you know and sort of the, the uh, reformation that you're kind of doing all the right things you know um, that there are so many guys out here that probably you know I'd be the example of there's so many good players out here that just are one week away of you know turning taking their careers to the next level so I hope I can be that sort of um, you know something for a lot of guys you know maybe out playing pro am circuit or you know just kind of struggling away that you know 18 months prior to that I was going to throw it all in so it's. You know, if you keep putting the work in, you know, and then you just give yourself an opportunity like that, and, you know, sometimes things can just fall your way. You won the Vic Open and that got you into the World Super 6 Perth last year, a tournament that you wouldn't have been in without that win. Then you went on to finish 11th on the Tour Order of Merit and that opens up some doors to some even bigger tournaments this year on the European Tour, doesn't it, like the Dunhill? Yes, um, it's, there's uh, quite a lot of... Um, the great thing about the Aust PGA Tour of Australasia, they're, they're opening a lot of pathways for players to tours around the world. I think as well, I might, if it's anything like last year, I'll get a few starts in China, a few starts, extra starts on the Asia Tour and then, of course, you know, playing at St Andrews in a professional golf tournament has definitely been a dream of mine so that's um yeah it's going to be an amazing week yeah so winning the Vic Open you can really feel the benefits of that you know hopefully for a long time to come in your career oh absolutely you know it, it, it provides me with practically the second longest contract on the Australasia tour um it provides you said in, in addition as well the finances you know a lot of people don't understand the professional golfers essentially self-finance so that allows me to take on opportunities that I wouldn't have you know financially 12 months ago now, back at the Vic Open this week, it does have a little bit of a different feel to it. Obviously, we're joined in the field by the European Tour. It really takes this event to the next level, doesn't it? Well, and, and the LPGA Tour is, is here as well. You know, that's it's it shows, you know, I think five years ago, I think we were playing for 400 grand or something like that. It was probably just a really good state open. Now it's probably talked about as one of the probably the best golf tournaments in the world with, you know, both one of the premier, well, the premier women's tour in the world and the European tour, you know, being here on the same site this week playing for the same amount of money. Do you feel like you Aussie boys are going to have a little bit of an advantage over the European tour side because you're obviously very familiar with the layouts? Well, I think a lot of places in Europe is uh, minus 11 degrees and under snow at the moment, so I think a lot of them are just quite happy to be out here and um, just playing golf. But no, I think uh, especially these, because we've got two golf courses here this week, it does local knowledge goes a long way. In, in this, especially these sort of conditions are, are very, you know, maybe some of the Scottish guys, some of the, you know, would, would 
thrive in these conditions as well, you know. But uh, if you look at the weather forecast this week, it's going to be very windy and, um, yeah, it's going to produce a pretty good champion, I think. Now, I know that at the start of the interview you said you don't really remember a lot of that final round last year, but are there any moments that stand out from the 2018 Vic Open as real, you know, oh, I, memories and special moments? I get... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of the stuff that happens, like it's it's sort of weird, like sometimes in the in the moment you don't really understand what's going on, but then it's sort of the, the, the more you reflect over those sort of things, like it was a lot of the times like I remember sitting in the sitting in the foyer with like a group of my friends, we'll just watch, re-watching the highlight reel with the trophy sitting there and then there's, you know, there's moments you're driving home in, in the car and you kind of, it's sitting there and the next thing you see in the passenger sheet and then you wake up the next morning and it's, the trophy's still there and stuff like that and then... And then I guess the reality as well, like you're talking about the Perth Super Sixes, you know, that was the event I didn't think I was going to be playing and all of a sudden, you know, the Tuesday I'm standing next to Lee Westwood on the driving range. It was sort of this, you know, I was sort of catapulted into a scenario that I thought was probably maybe a few years down the track. So that's sort of what winning a golf tournament, that's the opportunities it opens up. Just mentioned the trophy there. Have you been reacquainted with it yet this week? Uh, it was the first time actually I saw my name on it. As I said, I, Golf Victoria had to literally claw it back from me as I said I, 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 I was sitting at home for about eight months and there's still a spot there for it to come back so I'm, I'm as I said if I have a really good week it, it's there's a spot waiting for it. Excellent well best of luck. Thank you Olivia.